Comedy is one of the most subjective things imaginable. Everyone has very particular tastes when it comes to what makes them laugh, but luckily, TV has been quite kind to comedy over the past 15 years. There is certainly something out there to tickle anyone's funny bone. So we present the top American TV comedies of the past 15 years. This 15th anniversary video series is powered by our partners at Plex. Bob's Burgers. An animated sitcom about a working class American family of weirdos, Bob's Burgers recaptures a tone not seen since the early days of The Simpsons. But was Springfield loaded with musical numbers? I'm doing a dance. Cause I got pesto in my pants. The Belcher family has one of the most charming voice casts you'll ever hear. And if you listen carefully, there's certainly a celebrity cameo or two. Or three. Or two hundred. Nathan for you. The titular Nathan Fielder in Nathan For You brings wacky off-the-wall suggestions to struggling small businesses, with varying results, but hidden behind the show's premise is another story about character Nathan's desire for human connection. The two blend seamlessly, taking a step beyond any conventional prank show. Ted Lasso If there's one show that embodies a warm holiday sweater and gives you a cozy hug, it's Ted Lasso. When a happy-go-lucky American agrees to become the coach of a UK football team, despite knowing nothing about the game, a heartwarming exploration of the human condition ensues. It sounds corny, but it always puts you in the mood of drinking with your buddies. A nice change of pace every now and then. BoJack Horseman Yes, it may star a talking horse in a world of other anthropomorphic animals mixed with regular humans for some reason, but it still may be the most accurate representation of living between 2007 and 2022. A retired Hollywood actor burning through his residual checks, BoJack navigates all the complicated hoops of modern living. As a whole, it's a thoughtfully comedic romp, but some specific episodes are so impactful they burn themselves into your brain forever. Rick and Morty Nobody exists on purpose. Nobody belongs anywhere. Everybody's gonna die. Come watch TV. That could be the slogan for the human race. The high-concept sci-fi sitcom starring a grandfather-grandson duo explores the deepest questions in the central finite curve, but also doesn't take itself seriously enough to ignore how funny potty humor is. Rick and Morty has firmly cemented itself into pop culture, and for good reason. An endless universe offers endless creativity, and if one rigmarole doesn't resonate, we can always reset next episode. Shit's Creek in a reverse Beverly Hillbillies, the wealthy Rose family finds themselves in the titular town, their fortunes recently dried up. What sets Schitt's Creek apart from similar shows, such as Arrested Development, is the genuine love the family has for each other. The best of them is brought out through their interactions with the locals, and the show even got to end on its own terms, providing a well-deserved happy ending. New Girl a quirky single woman in her 30s with a bunch of male roommates? Seen it. But not like this. New Girl's strength comes from the natural chemistry of its cast, where no one feels like they're playing a character. Mixed with a beautiful will-they-won't-they -they romance, this show proves that with the right cast, even a simple premise can stand out amongst the best of them. Veep. An American version of BBC's The Thick of It, this version of Washington plays dirty and indulges in the darkest cynicism. In the spirit of The Sopranos, anti-heroes become beloved characters, and Julia Louise Dreyfus won the Outstanding Lead Actress Emmy so many times, she had to be put on a do not nominate list. Atlanta. It would be really easy to play Donald Glover's story about an aspiring rapper straight down the middle, but luckily, Atlanta takes a deep plunge into surreal, absurdity, and intelligent conversations about race and America. The jokes land so hard, it's hard not to laugh out loud. But don't be surprised if this show ends up as one of the best drama series as well. Brooklyn Nine-Nine The English language cannot fully capture the depth and complexity of this ensemble. Me more. Sarp. Interdepartmental pissing matches turn every word into a workout, and the cast covers a wide range of eccentric personalities. Surprisingly, it was cancelled once and then rescued by NBC. It may sometimes touch on sensitive issues, but never forgets to paint on a smile. Parks and Recreation 
What started as an attempt to capitalize on the Offutt's faux documentary style eventually evolved into an earnest, goofy workplace comedy about the power of optimism, community, and friendship. Like The Simpsons, the supporting cast are just as funny and interesting as the main cast, and any sharp edges in the jokes are complemented by the show's warm, gooey center. It's proof that you can be both kind and funny at the same time. Barry. Nobody expected this show would grow into what it would become after the first episode, but it has it all. Violence? Check. Dry laughs? Check. Awkward romance? Check. Tension and suspense? Check. All that and perhaps one of the most delightful characters ever to appear on screen. It's truly an impressive show, especially given the mere 30 minute runtime of comedies. Community. Despite being seemingly on the edge of cancellation constantly, this slice-of-life show about a group of misfits at a community college blossomed into one of the funniest, creative, and visually rewarding comedies ever produced. A decade after its first season, fans are still calling for a movie, and it looks like they're going to get their wish. From paintball to pillow fights to puppets, community had it all. The Good Place. Existentialism and moral philosophy were never this funny, and probably never will be again. Following Kirsten Bell's Eleanor Shellstrop through a non-denominational heaven where she technically doesn't belong, this exploration of the afterlife is full of quips, crass, and laughs, all while the foundations of the world shift below them. It's truly one of a kind. What we do in the shadows. Successful comedy series based on movies are few and far between but hands down the best of the last 15 years follows the antics of vampire roommates while they slowly attempt to gain dominion over America, but not getting far beyond their house in Staten Island. It's impossible to choose a favorite cast member, and the celebrity cameos constantly keep things refreshing. It takes its vampire lord deathly seriously, so what could have been a brief flash in the pan has become a dark and brilliant staple of the TV landscape. Do you agree with our list? What TV comedies are in your top 15? Let us know in the comments.